One night changes everything for a Philadelphia police officer. After a number of people die, in a mysterious way, he begins to chase a killer. But that chase isn't what it seems. You guys got to see this. Philly PD. You seen this woman? Nice to see you again. She gets torn apart by a train, and nine years later, she's back. The film is called In the Shadow of the Moon. It is out on Friday. Boyd Holbrook, who plays Officer Thomas Lockhart, and Director Jim Mickle are in studio with us. Good morning to you. Thanks for having us. One of my favorite things is when we run clips from a movie is to watch your faces and see how you react. <laughs> Both of you, big smiles. Yeah. 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 This, this, is, this is a work to be proud of. It's getting really great uh, reviews from people who have seen it so far. It is tricky to set up an interview like this because there's so many twists and turns. I have to be careful what I ask you to not reveal everything. But for you, Jim, how did you balance sort of these these tough scenes, a little mm -hmm. bit of intrigue? You're dealing mm -hmm. with a serious, you know, with a serial killer. How does how did yeah. you balance all that? Um, you just do it through the point of view of Boyd's character. You know, it take you know the the movie takes you through a lot of decades, a lot of genres, a lot of mystery. But um, fortunately, you have a good leading man to kind of put on his shoulders and uh, and uh, ride him to the finish line. When you, were, when you were watching those scenes, I could see it was almost like your body started to mirror what was ever happening in those scenes. You yeah, it is funny, like bending over, drinking coffee at the same time. <laughs> yeah. it's a good, this was a really great project, also filmed here in Toronto for people in Canada to know. Did you recognize any of the streets on your way here this morning? We shot right around the yeah. corner. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, yep, I remember scouting the street a year ago to shoot a little chase scene on a, so yeah. <clears throat> uh, this character that you play, another Law & Order guy, people will recognize you as a Law & Order guy from Narcos. Yeah, a detective, yeah. Yeah, so how do you, how do you why do you like these roles? You seem to play them really um, well. Well, this is technically the second time I've played a cop, uh, but the most attractive thing to this piece and to work with Jim and all the other fantastic actors in this is, uh, you know, as an actor, you get to play five characters in, in one character, so it was this very ambitious uh, journey that we went on. Uh, Jim, when you're, when you're directing a film like this, which has scenes like that, incredible. Uh, and again, I'm trying so hard not to ask you things that are gonna reveal anything. Um, we're taking a look at a lot of these night shots. Uh, I heard yep. these were very hard yes. on everybody. Yeah. Yes. Uh, how long was the shoot? Like 42 days. Yeah. 42 days, but mostly night, and we shot in the summertime, which obviously is only about 10 hours of nighttime yeah, here. Right. So, so you sort of, you set up and it's daytime and you're waiting and you're waiting and in the minute the sun goes down, it's like, okay, go. And then you don't really get a chance to stop until the sun comes up. So we did that. We also shot the Bay Street subway um, for like three straight days and it's almost like sensory deprivation because you go in this tunnel <laughs> yeah. and you don't really know what time it is. So we were vampires for about two months, yeah. I want to ask about, this is coming out on Netflix, and um, it's a different sort of culture developing. I imagine for an actor, when a film comes out, there's the big splash, you do all of the press around it, it's in theaters for a set time, and it's done. Yeah. Uh, in Netflix, people can continue to watch it, you know, at various points, and so does that change your fan interaction at all? A little bit, yeah, and I think specifically with this film, uh, this is a film that you can watch multiple times and, and keep learning something every time. That is the beauty of Netflix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, why was it called In the Shadow of the Moon? Uh, the moon has a lot to do with the polar pool and the gravitation of, of the Earth. I yeah. only asked you that to see how you'd answer it. <laughs> yeah. You have to watch yeah. the movie to get the Yeah, you have to watch the movie to find out me. why. Yeah. Yes. Uh, both of you, what are you most proud of about this one? Um, you know, I'm, I'm just proud of the film, how ambitious it is, and yeah. how, how well it was executed, and Jim's just, uh, just such a talent. Thanks, man. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, it's yeah. a big, uh, I guess, the, it's the Rubik's Cubeness of it. It mm -hmm. was like a high degree of difficulty. Like, sometimes you get to do something where you're like, this is pretty much set up to succeed. This one was like, there's a lot of moving pieces, and it was tough to juggle. So when you mm -hmm. step back and look at it, you're like, oh, this is, we pulled this off. You guys yeah. don't seem to like working together at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was really rough. Yeah. <laughs> hey, congratulations to you both. Uh, a reminder, the movie is called In the Shadow of the Moon. It is released on Friday. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.